Assalamu alaikum. Welcome everyone to the part two, the writing part for the grade 10 advanced end of term questions. We have five written questions. These are free response questions where you need to specify each and every step in detail. You need to do everything in writing. You can't do any calculator or shortcut methods. So make sure you write each step. Don't leave any step. Don't jump to answers or don't jump steps. So here in this part, we have five questions. So we will go through them one by one. Question number 16 to question number 20. The first question in this is to multiply polynomials by monomials. It's a basic multiplication sort of problem. And there is also, uh, you know, real world problems. We'll look into all that. Let's try doing these problems. They are very simple, isn't it? Over here, B is a monomial to multiply it with this poly polynomial. Sorry. What you do is distribute this evenly throughout. So it'll be B squared multiplied by B will be B cubed. Now, what you can do is, because this is a direct problem, we can just write b into b squared minus b into 12b plus b into 1. This is more detailed methods, okay? Because it's in writing, it's better to have more detailed, more elaboration. And now b times b squared is bq minus 12b, b times b is b squared plus b. That's it. That will be the answer. Same thing over here. You need to write all the specified details, but I'll just write the answer. It'll be f cubed plus 2f squared plus 25f. That would be the answer. Same thing over here. Now, this is a big term, but it's fine. You can do minus 3m cubed times 2m cubed. Now, everywhere you have to multiply minus 3m cubed times what is this again it's minus over here minus 12 m squared and then minus 3 m cubed times 2 m minus 3 m cubed times 25 why did i write minus over here because it was minus only for this term all the others are just plus now minus remains 3 times 2 is 6 m cubed times m cubed the powers add up it will be m power 6 let me uh, tell a little bit of details on this. You can see whenever we have m cube multiplied by m cube, all you need to do is the base is the same, add the powers up. It will be m to the power 6. Whereas if it was m cube the whole power 3, in such cases there's only one base, the powers are powered up. It will be 3 multiplied by 3, that is m to the power 9. Understand this very well. When you have m cubed multiplied by another term, which is the same term, you add the powers. Or if it was m to the power 4 multiplied by m power 2, it will be m power 6. But if it was m power 4, the whole square, then you multiply it and write m power 8, 4 times 2. So this is the difference. I hope this is clear. Now let me just continue over here. Let me just erase this part. So all you need to do is same thing, multiply it. It'll be minus and minus will be plus here. 12 times 3 is 36 m to the power 5. m cubed plus m squared will be 3 plus 2 is 5. Minus 6 m to the power 4 minus 75 m cubed. This will be the answer. I hope this is clear. So these are the answers. You can check the answers. Very simple problems just by using the distributive property. You know you're distributing this evenly, right? That's distributive property. And then multiplying and simplifying. Please do the other problems by yourselves. These are all same type and all the answers are shown over here. Please do it by yourselves. Even over here. Sometimes it might take a few more steps because you need to rearrange this. See over here you can simplify same variable. That is minus 15x squared plus 2x squared. When you solve it, it will be negative 13x squared. And then over here also, minus 6x and minus 3x is negative 9x. Why minus 6 minus 9 is minus, uh, minus 6 and minus 3 is minus 9x. 27 is alone, write it over here. Same way you can solve them. Even over here, it's the same method. 
we will go to the real world problem. There's no much difference here. See here, there is plus division, divide, dividing these two terms. So multiply this here and here. That's one term. Plus multiply seven here and here. That's the thing. And here also, it's not at all. See, what we did a while ago was only single term. So you have to do this separately. See, basically what happens is you're doing this here distributive property and same thing minus this over here okay there'll be just many terms that's it but it's the same concept over here and the detailed methods are shown over here in detail everything is there and now we go to the real world problem see what they have asked over here is the sum of the first n whole numbers is given by the expression half n square plus n Expand the equation by multiplying them and then find the sum of the first two all whole numbers. So there is nothing much over here because they have told this is the expression given. You just have to expand. So given expression is half n squared plus n expanded by multiplying this inside. That's distributive property half n squared. Sorry, it will be n squared plus half n and that's the thing you know you have just expanded it now over here they have told whole numbers is how many first two are whole number this is the sum of the n whole numbers any number but we just want first two all so substitute n equals two all and solve it'll be half two all squared plus half of two all so two all squared is 144 half of that will be 70 plus 2 is 72 you can just write in, uh, I mean, this you can put in calculator also. Plus 6, it will be 78. So that should be the answer. Let's just check. Yeah, that's it. There's nothing much over here to do. Okay, they have done this. Now, uh, uh, yeah, we have done that same thing. I've written it as half n squared or this is equal to n squared by half. That's the same thing. Okay, there's no wrong in this. Now the same thing is done. Over here, 12 squared is 144. Half of that is 72, here half of 12 is 6, and then we get the answer. Let's look into another problem over here. It's about college. Troy's grandfather gave him $700 to start his college savings account. Troy's grandfather also gives him $40 each month to add to his account. Okay. Troy's mother gives him $50 each month, but has been doing so for four fewer months then Troy's grandfather. Okay, this is important. Four fewer months in the sense, his grandfather gave four months more. Now imagine January, uh, Troy's grandfather started giving. Jan, Feb, March, April. And after four months on May, month of May, Troy's mother started giving. So his grandfather gave one, two, three, four months extra. Okay. So, see, Troy received M months. Uh, let's write, write a simplified expression for the amount of money Troy received M months after his mother started giving him the money. So they are saying we must start from this month when his mother started giving him the money. So M is over here, okay, from this point. So if we understand it properly, we know the months of money given by his mom is M. So how many months was his grandfather giving? m plus 4 isn't it 4 months are extra that's it what is the coefficient how many uh, how much does his grandfather give it's 40 year and how much does his mother give it is 50 year that's it and okay there is one more thing this is plus and plus and there is one more thing his grandfather already gave him a direct amount of money that is 700 not every month once only so it's a uh, intercept we just write it like this 700 sorry this is not the intercept this is a constant value so we don't have a slope it's not incrementing or increasing every month it's a standard so that's the thing oh and then we have to simplify sorry i forgot about that now this is the equation i hope you understand the equation i'll write it over here again first thing is is uh the constant amount of money once only his grandfather gave that's 700 plus his grandfather gives 440 every month, but he started four months before his mother. So for M plus 4 plus 50 M, that is what his mom gives. Now we will solve it 700 plus 40 M 
plus 4 times 4 is 16, so it's 160 plus 50M. And over here, it'll be 40 plus 50 is 90M plus 700, 860. This is the answer. Let's just check. So yeah, that's it. 860 we got here. So this is the amount of money he received after M months. Now, if you put it as after 10 months, you just substitute M as 10 and solve. That is the money he has. Nearly 2,000, 1,800 or something dollars. So this is how we do it. Now, the next one, question 15. Sophia went to the farmer's market to purchase some vegetables. She brought peppers and potatoes. She bought, sorry, peppers and potatoes. The peppers weigh 0 0.39 each and the potatoes weigh 0 0.29 each. She spent $3.88 on vegetables and bought four more potatoes than peppers. Okay, this is important. So peppers, four more potatoes than peppers. So if peppers is say, we oh yeah, X is the number of peppers. So X is peppers, right? Potato is X plus four. That's the difference. And what is the cost of peppers? It's 0 0.8. 39x potatoes is 0 0.29 this is add what is the total amount of money if you add these both it must be 3.88 that's it now we can solve it how well, it's 0 0.39x that is the pepper each pepper and x is the number of pepper it can be any number doesn't matter plus potatoes is 0 0.29 each but she bought four more than peppers x plus four now I'm just writing the question again. Uh, let me solve it over here. Distribute your property 0 0.29 times x plus 0 0.29 times 4 equals 3.88. Now add this up. 30 plus, uh, 30 plus 40 would be 70. 70 minus 2 is 0 0.68 x. Now here we are 29, 30 times 4 is 120 minus 4, it will be uh, 120 minus 4 is something happened to my mind, <laughs> 1.16. Okay, this is the variable equals 3.88. So take this to the other side, it's 0.68x equals, when you subtract it, you will get 3.88 minus 1.16. Here we have to do 88 minus 16 will be, you can use the calculator for this, it's fine. Um, it'll be 72 and 2 over here, 2.72 and 0.68x. Now this one, you better use calculator, it's a bit hard. It's 70, 140, 140, 21, 280. It's nearly 4, I guess, 3 points. I think so, it's about 4. Let's just say, check the answers over here. Yeah, the answer is 4, uh, absolutely. You can just use the calculator 2.72 divided by 0 0.68, that'll be 4. Now then, okay, we found x value, that is the x is the number of peppers. What is the number of potatoes? Add 4 to it, that's number 8. 4 plus 4 is 8. So she bought 4 peppers and four eight 8 potatoes, that's the answer. Here we have a geometric problem. The volume of a pyramid can be found by the by multiplying the area of its base and one third of its height. That is given over here. The, that's the formula basically. What is the volume of pyramid? So V is equal to one third of base into height, right? Vertical height. That's given also in words, but you, you can remember this. Pyramid is always given by one third B into H. The area of the rectangular base of a pyramid is given by the polynomial equation. See, base is given as this. Write a polynomial expression to uh, represent the volume of the pyramid B and if its height is 10 meters. Okay, the H is given as 10, B is given, you need to write the polynomial equation. V equals one thirds. What is B? X squared minus 4 times X minus 2 al and H is multiply this by 10. So we have the constant 10 by 3, 10 by 3 into x squared minus 4x minus 12. I think so you need to multiply this inside. Like this is the answer, but let's just check what they have done. Yeah, they have multiplied it inside. Okay, they have simplified it further. 
So let's just multiply 10 thirds inside will be 10 by 3 x squared minus 10 times 4 is minus 40 by 3 x. And lastly, we have here 3, 1 times 3, 4 times, 4 times uh, 10 is minus 40. That's it. That's the answer. So this is the simplified version. And this is question number A. Let's just see whether there's a question. Yeah, there's a question number B. They have told find the volume when x is 12. So what you do is wherever x is there in this particular volume is equal to this, right? Wherever x is there, put 12. 12 all squared minus 40 by 3 into 12 minus 40. That's it. You can just use the calculator for this and use the calculator and write the answer. The volume is 280. Or you can do it manually. It's uh, 12 squared is how much? 144 and then simplify. It'll take time, but you can do it by yourselves as well. So that's the answer. So that's the thing. It's 280 meter cube when x is 12. If x is any other value, you should just substitute that instead of x in the volume equation. Okay. So now over here, again, we are solving, uh, you know, the multiplying polynomials. Only the thing is there is terms both the side of inequality. Now, how would you do this is solve both the sides over here. Left side will be 70 squared plus 5 times 7 is 35 T minus 7 times 9 is 63 plus T equals 7 T squared minus 2 T plus 13. This is the answer. Now things get cancelled off. This cancels with this. Let's group all the T terms together and the uh, your numbers at one side. So I'll bring this 2 T to the other side because 35 is bigger here. 35 T plus T minus minus becomes plus when you bring it to the other side. Equals 62 to, 63 to the other side is 13 plus 63. This is 38 T because 35 plus 2 plus 1 that is equal to now this is 76. Okay. Now what is 38 times 2? 38 times 2 is 76. So divide both the sides by 38. You will get T equals 2. So the answer is 2. So that's the answer. You can even check your answer by putting it in calculator. You will get the same answer. That's the thing. These are the steps, the detailed steps. And over here, it's the same thing. Please make sure you go through the detailed steps and solve it by yourselves. First, solve it by yourselves and then check for the answers. Here, it's just many, uh, you know, terms. All must be over here. Each term, whenever distributive properties, they multiply them and then simplify it further. You can see over here, the squares cancels off and you will only have a Z value. And whatever answer you get over here at zero, you can even double check it by putting this entire term in calculator. But wherever C is there, just put it as alpha X and then you can solve. Same thing over here. And the last problem is this one. Please solve it by yourself and then check it over here. So that said, please do practice more problems. Be thorough, especially the real world problems. Make sure you understand the problem, uh, understand the question properly. Many things will be in the question and then solve it accordingly. Please write each and every step and then solve it.